up? This is Sabali TV. I'm going to do a leap motion controller demonstration. Um, so today I'm going to use the program GameWave uh, because the leap motion controller itself needs a applica needs an application to be a user interface controller. So um, it there's a couple out there. There's Touchless, and I've tried that, and um, it's a pretty good app, but I don't know. Something about it, it just, it feels okay to scroll, but as far as, like, picking up and moving files and dragging and dropping, um, I feel like GameWave is better, and part of it is because it allows you to set up your gestures much more um, identify with how you want to control it. So I use my thumb and my forefinger as uh, sorry, the cats are fighting over here. Dr. Duke and Joe Wallace face off. Alright, things have calmed down. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, I use Game Wave uh, because I have my own settings as far as like I use the thumb and the forefinger as the the right the left mouse click, and I've been trying to figure out how to use the right mouse click and get it down, um, but I'm still working on that. Uh, but I'll show you Game Wave interface, how you set up. Um, let's see. Guess I can't switch cameras while I'm using it. <clears throat> so I'm going to load my personal settings. I'm going to try to get the, can the shot in the frame, but I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. So as you can see, um, it starts tracking and it, I have it set so it automatically tries to locate if it's the left or the right hand. <clears throat> so, let me see. My tracking post. Oh, accidentally closed game way because I'm an idiot. So I'll just make sure it's not closed. There we go. Um, so another thing is to try to uh, keep your hand, your fingers spread open because um, it's easier. There's tracking issues with the with the fingers if you try to get, if you get too vertical with it. Um, so if your hand's too vertical, your fingers disappear and you just lose whatever control you're going for. So this is like one of the main issues of like sorry. If you're trying to use it for gesture control, you need something finite for like dragging and dropping. So the problem is there's no real feedback like sound wise I, unless there's a way to turn it on. I feel like a sound would be good to let you know when you actually have picked something up, like a little click or whatever, because I have no clue until it's too late if I've double-clicked it like that. So you see it's not 
it's pretty responsive as far as like following my hand to actually be the mouse and it's partially because I'm I'm used to having my hand open now so like it'll freak out every now and then <clears throat> and do something oh shit I'm making sure I'm on the right okay so I have to like do the camera and the mouse at the same time and I can't see the camera so I'm using the reflection on the laptop to try to do this but so I'm showing you this and during the daytime and it's not the most optimal conditions just to show uh, an unbiased use of it because it's like if I said this worked 100 percent of the time I'd be lying and it's good good for anyone to see like what the limitations are like in practical use um, especially like this is awkward to try to use my thumb but at, or the index finger for that matter so like I tried to get a command where I could like if I'm using my hand like uh, my fingers in this manner if I'm using my fingers kind of like uh, wands. I don't know why it's not picking me up right now. There we go. Maybe my phone is messing with it. That's very possible. Um, anyway, so I think that's a good example of game wave, and <clears throat> I mean, if you're trying to use it during the day, then you really probably can't use it for what you want to use it for. Like it's flipping out now because I'm using my, I'm holding my phone near it, but um, yeah, that's again. I think it's good to show the limitations of the device just because if it can't work 100% in daylight, maybe they need to come up with a glove or some sort of, you know, something that's like the opposite of infrared wave so it can easily pick up the frequency of your hand or whatever. I don't know if you can have like a battery powered glove that gets tracked or whatever, but I don't know. I think there there needs to be something else that adds to the accuracy of the tracking because it's like if you're using infrared light to ping off of things and I mean people's hands are different colors, like I know the the device adjusts itself, but there needs to be something that's consistent as far as everybody's hand um, as keeping the contrast from the background environment so I don't know if there's a certain color glove or something needs to be added to the glove because it's like you see my light in the background like I'm not going to turn off all the lights just to use this controller so thank you have a good day